Hey, what's going on guys? Ben, aka Sweet Sauce here, and today I'm bringing you another video, and if you are new around here, I upload NFL and Madden content all the time, so make sure you subscribe if you're new. But anyways, as you can see from the title and thumbnail, I'll be telling you guys my 2020-2021 NFL season playoff prediction, and as you can see, I have the bracket up on the screen. I'm just going to go ahead and explain to you why I have teams winning which weeks and all that stuff and yeah I'm just gonna explain my reasoning and you can see the bracket and all that but anyways let's start on the NFC side which is pretty much round one is gonna be pretty easy because there's no really um good games here you got the Buccaneers playing the divisional winner football team and I don't think anybody has the football team winning because they just aren't as good they their starting quarterback at the start of the season isn't even on the team anymore, Dwayne Haskins. And, yeah, I just don't think that they're going to be able to do, especially against Tom Brady in the playoffs with Gronk, with Antonio Brown, probably the best wide receiver and tight end over the past decade. But anyways, going to Seattle versus the Rams. I got Seattle winning. Now, of course, this is their third matchup of the season since they are divisional or NFC West participants, but anyways, um, they did split the series 1-1, and I just feel like the Seahawks are better. I feel like Russell Wilson in the playoffs again will actually get it done, and we don't even know if Jared Goff is going to play, and if he doesn't, then yeah, it's like 99% chance the Seahawks win, but anyways, going to New Orleans versus Chicago, I feel like Mitchell Drabisky in the playoffs won't be able to get done. I know that they almost won last time they're in the playoffs, but of course, Cody Parkey doinked the kick. But I just feel like the the New Orleans is hot right now. Alvin Kamara coming off a six uh, touchdown game, and then he had rest by getting uh, COVID. And But anyways, I do have them winning, and yeah. Next, we got Tampa Bay versus Green Bay, the one seed, their first playoff game of the season. And I feel like Green Bay is going to win because Tom Brady, over the past, what, 20 seasons, has been going into the playoffs against AFC teams. He's been playing a lot of Steelers, a lot of, let's see, Broncos, Colts, teams like that. And he's never really had to play the Packers in the playoffs or the a football team in the playoffs, but now he has to, and he's going to have to the rest of his career, assuming he doesn't change teams again, and I don't think that he's going to be ready. He's going to be in Green Bay in January, and I just feel like they're not going to be able to win that when Aaron Rodgers is my MVP this season. I feel like he's going to be able to get it done and prove that he can make an actual Super Bowl, Super Bowl run and get Past the NFC Championship game. And next we have the Seahawks versus New Orleans in New Orleans. And I do feel like the Seahawks are going to win because the Saints are not a playoff team. You can look at their past couple of years with losing to the, was it the Minnesota Miracle, whatever, the dig sideline touchdown. And then you got losing to the Vikings again with Kyle Rudolph in overtime. And... Yeah, I just feel like they're not going to be able to get done. Drew Brees was at 40. He's been be or dealing with injuries throughout the season. And it's pretty clear that's his last season. And I just don't think they're going to be able to get done. And Michael Thomas hasn't been able to perform in the playoffs throughout his whole career. So, yeah, I feel like they are going to get eliminated by the Seahawks to Russell Wilson and company and of course, Russell Wilson was the favorite for MVP, at least for me, and he hasn't really done that. He was in the beginning of the season, but not anymore. And then we got the Seahawks visiting Green Bay. Winner goes to the Super Bowl, and I have the Packers making it to the Super Bowl. I feel like Aaron Rodgers, red hot MVP, like I said. He's going to be able to get it done, and of course, Aaron Jones and Devontae Adams having one of the best wide receiver seasons in the past decade. And yeah, I feel like they're going to get it done. DK Metcalf is still young. I don't think he'll be able to perform like he has been throughout the season in his first 
the playoff run of his career. And so, yeah, we got the Packers making the Super Bowl right there. And then on the other side, we have the Titans versus Baltimore. And I have the Titans winning. I feel like this is going to be probably the best game of round one because obviously these are the four and five seed and they played against each other last year and the Ravens were projected to win since they were the number one seed I'm pretty sure one or two and they lost to the Titans and Derrick Henry of course coming off of a 2,000 yard regular season 250 yards last week he's gonna go ahead and feast and he's gonna get the win over Baltimore next we have Pittsburgh versus Cleveland. I do have Pittsburgh winning. It just came out that the Browns head coach will not be coaching because he does have COVID. So that's going to give the Steelers a boost to go ahead and beat the Browns in Pittsburgh where the Steelers did win that game earlier this season. Next, we have the Bills against the Colts. I, of course, think the Bills are going to win because I don't trust uh, the Colts offense with Philip Rivers, even though Jonathan Taylor has been going off, and I just feel like their offense won't be able to produce in the playoffs, and of course the Bills, you can't stop their offense, they just dropped 52, I'm pretty sure, against the Dolphins defense, who has been very good throughout the year, and so next, we have Kansas City versus Tennessee, I have the Chiefs winning, even though they did lose to the Chargers without Patrick Mahomes, and they almost lost to the Falcons with Patrick Mahomes. I do feel like they're going to win because I don't think the Titans' defense is going to be able to stop that offense whatsoever. And on the other side, we got Pittsburgh versus Buffalo. Of course, a rematch from earlier this season. I have the Bills winning because, of course, the Steelers have been dealing with injuries, and that's one of the reasons they started 11-0 and and finished on... A one in five record, or one in two and four, one in five record. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I just feel like their defense isn't going to be able to keep up with the Bills' offense. And the Steelers' offense really consists of dump offs of James Conner and two yard rushes with Benny Snell, James Conner. And yeah, I feel like the Bills will win that. And then we have the Chiefs versus the Bills. This will be a good game. I feel like the Bills have the best shot at defeating the the Chiefs in the AFC, but they're not going to be able to because Patrick Mahomes, you know him as, of course, he won last season. He won the whole thing, won Super Bowl MVP. I feel like he's going to be able to get done. Josh Allen still in his third year. I don't think he's ready to go ahead, beat the reigning Super Bowl MVP and already an MVP and get to the Super Bowl. And then... We have the Chiefs versus the Packers, which I'm pretty sure is Super Bowl one rematch, and uh, the Packers winning it. I just feel like Aaron Rodgers, it's his season to prove that he's an MVP. He can win a second Super Bowl, and I just feel like the Chiefs, after losing to the Chargers and almost losing to the Falcons, I just don't have their trust. I don't trust them enough. And the Packers, I feel like they can get it done that win against the Bills, Really said something, even though it was snowing and the Bill or the Titans couldn't really do anything. I still feel like the Packers are going to be able to win the Super Bowl, win it all, and yeah, that's what I have to say about that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like. If you got to this point, then obviously you must have at least it must have at least gotten your attention and kept you entertained. So make sure you slap a like and subscribe if you're new. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and goodbye. Yeah.